Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys, because uh, I know a lot of people don't uh, understand like when their uh, water cooling pump on their CPU doesn't work. So I had a client actually who uh, sent me a request. Uh, he told me to come over as soon as possible and uh, had me working on his uh, computer. So I took his uh, block right now and put it on my CPU. Now, guys, I am gonna. I mean, I, I have the same exact model, so I have the same one, the uh, you know uh, Corsair H100i. Uh, it's a water uh, water cooler. Now, uh, th this is the thing that I'm gonna tell you now. So do not do this because this most likely is gonna smash your CPU. Uh, I have two of these same CPUs, so if it doesn't, if something happens, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be able to replace it. That being said, it could screw up your entire CPU, and I'll tell you exactly why. If your water pump is broken, okay, the first thing that happens is you're not going to get any coolant in here. So the first symptom, 100%, is if you don't have cooling, Today's modern day computers, <laughs> uh, they have a thing where it shuts it down for it for the CPU's sake, for your motherboard's sake, and so on and so forth, so you guys don't overheat and uh, destroy your entire computer. Okay, so I'm going to show you now the ultimate way to check it out if, if it is what it is. Okay, so this thing right here is the CPU cooler. Okay, so we're going to turn it on right now, and I'm going to show you. Ooh, this kind of scares me a little bit here. But uh, let's rock and roll. So you're going to see that it comes to a complete shutdown. Just give it a second here. This is the number one symptom. Okay, so if you have any issue at all that your computer shuts down like this, don't automatically assume it's the power supply. I'm going to show you what you could do to prove that it is what it is. So it's... There you go. Shut off on its own. I was like, when is it going to happen? All right. So first thing to do is shut this off. Now check this out. Okay. To make sure that it's not the power supply because it could be. So what you do is you see right here, the CPU fan, uh, the CPU, sorry, power. You're going to, ah, give me a sec here. Need two hands for this one. Ah. Wow. It's in pretty good. There you go. <laughs> okay, so you see, the CPU power right over here was removed. And this is how you can find out. Now we're going to put it back on. And you're going to see that it doesn't shut, shut down at all. And there's a reason behind that. Because right now... Even though this thing is powering on all of these fans, it's not cooling the chip at all. Okay, so this thing will still work as a, you know, just as an electronic fan device, but it, the pump is broken. So you're not going to have any type of, uh, of real cooling going into the CPU. So because of that, I don't have this on. Therefore, my CPU right now is not working at all, and it is... Everything is running fine on the computer. Everything is running fine on the computer, as you can see. And the power supply, of course, on. So as you can see, and it won't shut down at all. So that's something to let you guys know. Uh, that's how you can detect if your pump is broken. Uh, this one actually lasted uh, me for about five years. Uh, it died on me. Then I had another one. Uh, this, uh, my friends right now, only two years. So, uh, put that in my, uh, you know, put that into, into your head. It's about a hundred dollar unit, but if you want to overclock and you want to do things, this is a must have. Okay. I overclock my CPU. You got to have, it. it's about a hundred and ten dollars. Uh, mine lasted me. I know there's a newer one now. There's a version two. I have no idea how that is. I'll probably give it a whirl and see. Uh, but that's pretty much how you can detect it. I mean, it's pretty easy if you think about it. Now, if it's the power supply, even if you did that and you removed the CPU, it wouldn't make a crap of a difference. You still, it would still cut off. But the fact that you removed the CPU's power, and obviously this is all going, the pump doesn't work. Okay, so that means, and it's still on, that means it's not the power supply. Okay, a lot of people would go spend $300 on the power supply and regret it. 
Believe me, I did that before. I wanted to punch myself in the face. It was really bad. But uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And, you know, if it is if it is the CPU, obviously, when it's plugged in, you know that that's what it is because the pump isn't working. Therefore, there's a lot of heat on the chip and it cuts off. It cuts off the power to protect you. Okay, sort of like on the DJI Ronin or whatever, on the three-axis gimbal, when it shuts down, people didn't know how come it shuts down. It's because the power, the, uh, if there's so much heaviness uh, to prevent damage to the motors, it shuts down automatically. This, think of it as the same exact thing. So that thing shuts off right away to protect you. So anyways, that's all I got to say about that. I'm going to shut it off right now myself, so don't be alarmed. That's all I got to say right now about that. If any of you guys have any questions, let me know. Comment down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.